my name's Ben Bowman. Uh, I'm a tutor with Rise Smart, and I focus on English, GCSE, 11 plus, and of course the UKI set test. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the UKI set test, uh, what I think uh, it takes to make, do really well on it, what I think the uh, the best sort of techniques are for preparation are, and just uh, more generally about the test. Um, so to start off with, it, it's an adaptive online entry test taken in English designed to support admission into UK independent education systems. And it's a really good way of students applying themselves and showing how they think and how well they can think. Um, so that, it's that sort of view, your general view of the UKI set test. Um, it measures four skills. Nonverbal reasoning, so solving problems using pictures, diagrams, and patterns. Verbal reasoning, the ability, so your, it basically tests your ability to work with words and, and the English language. Mathematics, working with numbers, values, and sequences. And then English skills, so grammar, vocab, reading, comprehension, listening, and creative writing. And I suppose the reason that it's so important is because all those different parts of the UKI set test test your brain in a slightly different way and all those different parts ask of a tutor a different task so for example with non-verbal reasoning because it's a very binary and very sort of um, mathematic a mathematical part of the part of the exam it's a really the best way of revising for non-verbal reasoning is just to do lots of papers and go through them with your tutor one-on-one -on -one and go through every question and really understand the nuts and bolts of what it takes to be really, really good at, at non-verbal reasoning. And I think that that's just one of many examples of, of different ways of revising for this, uh, for this test. So another really good way I find of revising for the actual English writing and English skills, grammar, vocab, comprehension part of the uh, exam is finding something that really interests you, something that really you know gets the student going something that i always ask in my in my lessons um you know what is what are you really obsessed with what is your main interest outside of academics and whatever they say so if it's football or cooking or making videos on youtube anything we then will delve into that thing and we'll write about that thing so i think that you know when a student is writing about something that they really really are interested by, they write the best uh, the best quality of writing. And I think that's a really, really good way of getting yourself, if you are a student watching this, or your daughter, son, and if you're a tutor, your student, to really excel from the, from the start. And I, and I, yeah, I think that it's a really, really in interesting test. It's a lot of fun because it's very challenging. And I, I really enjoy tutoring people in it. So thank you.